So now let's see how we can work with the spell tech and dynamic spell tech options inside of Adobe in copy. So to work with that, first of all, let me type in a sentence by saying this is a sentence. So I intentionally mistyped it, mistyped sentence out uh, to let you see how the spell tech works out. So I'm just going to keep the cursor in the beginning and then I'm going to go to edit and then I'm going to go to spelling right here. And then you can see that the first option is check spelling. So if I were to click on this, what happens is that it detected sentence as you can see right here. So I can choose whether I want the spell check to carry forward with the uh, forward from where I added in my cursor or backwards, just like that. So I'm just going to press uh, forward right here and start. So sentence has been detected, detected and it says like these are the suggested cor corrections. For example, let's say for example, I want to use this as the replacement. So I can simply select this and click on change and you can see that sentence has been corrected just like that. So similarly, I can go around and work with something else as well. So let us type in tutor tube right over here is a YouTube channel. So just like this. Now let us bring our cursor onto the front again and let me go to edit and let us go to spelling and check spelling right here. So it says tutor tube is an incorrect word, but it is not an incorrect word as far as we know, because that's the name of our channel right here. So now what I want to do is I want to add this onto the dictionary. Of course, I can ignore all of the words, but that'll be just for this document. But since I use the word tutor tube on and again, on and on um, throughout our videos and throughout the lessons, I'm just going to add it on to our user dictionary. And you can see that there's the dictionary, like user dictionary, I can add it in right here. So I'm just going to click on add right over here. And what happens is that the word is added. I can also make it case sensitive just like this if I want to, but then I'm just going to keep it uh, just as it is. So I'm just going to press done. And now whenever I type in tutor tube again, so now if I were to go to edit and if I were to go on to uh, spelling and click on check spelling, you can see that tutor tube is not there anymore. So I can simply start and it does not show anything forward or backward. The tutor tube is a corrected word now and it has been added onto my dictionary. So if I were to close this and this is uh, okay for checking spelling, but it might be quite tedious and you might want to have dynamic spelling check just like in Microsoft Word if you use it. So I'm just going to go around and type in something like this is a uh, wrong. So I'm just going to go around and type in uh, an wrong word just like this. So this is the wrong word and it does not actually show that it is wrong. So if I were to go into edit, if I were to go into spelling, text spelling, I can of course find that out right here. But what I want uh, in copy to do is let's say, for example, show uh, a dynamic uh, spelling er check, uh, spelling check. So in order to do that, I have to go to edit, go on to spelling and here I can enable dynamic spelling. So let me just click on this and over here. Now what happens is that the wrong word is underlined. So I can simply go around over here. So let's say, for example, I'll, I, I'll misspell misspe uh, this as well. So I can go around into wrong, right click on it and I can click on wrong. So the, these are the options available. So I can add wrong to the user dictionary if I want to, but I can go around and choose wrong as well. And I can right click and choose this. If I want to disable dynamic spelling, so if I have something wrong right over here, I can right click and disable the dynamic spelling from there as well. So now there are two ways as you can see, so I can just go over here and then check the spelling by going on on to check spelling and by using dynamic spelling. If I were to use like add to dictionary, what happens is that everything gets collected in the user dictionary. So if I were to open this out, you can see all the lists that we added in right here, like tutu tube is there, YouTube is there. So those are the words that I added in. You can make it case sensitive as well. And if you want to remove any one of them, let's say for example, uh, you don't want to use the word tutor tube anymore. You want it to be shown as a spelling error. Then what you can do is you can type in tutor tube just like this. And then if I were to enable dynamic 
uh, spelling just like this. You can show see that it shows that it's an error. So I can go over here, add to dictionary again, and what happens is tutatube is not wrong anymore. Again, if I were to go to edit, if I were to go to spelling and use a dictionary and I go to tutatube, remove it out, again, it shows it as an error. So this is how you can uh, use the spell tech and dynamic spell tech options inside of Adobe in copy. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.